Hey dudes and dudettes, here with another Path of Exile video for you, and this one is going to go over my Righteous Fire uh, character, and uh, what passives I use, what gear I use, and so forth, because uh, a lot of people have been asking me about this, and uh, first, uh, I'll go over the passives. Now, before I get to explaining uh, them, I want to say that yesterday, uh, someone who asked me about this, I told them what passives I went, and I said that I went all the life nodes and the life regeneration nodes, and uh, just a few of the AOE uh, as I went, and which is standard for any Righteous Fire build, and I found, and he said, oh, it sounds a lot like Oro's build, and I went to check out uh, Oro's build, and it's very similar, uh, except uh, Oro goes down this side and goes down here. He doesn't go up and get uh, this one, uh, this 1% 1 life regeneration here. Well, I do. And then I found out Willem Mosium uh, it does a Righteous Fire build, and that's one that uh, I took a lot of inspiration from when I looked up. I was originally doing an, uh, an Energy Shield Righteous Fire build, and I looked up Willem Mosium's, and uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, uh, and he went with, he, he suggested all uh, life regen nodes. And uh, it, like he said, it's uh, it's it's what everyone who does a righteous fire build or is going to do a righteous fire fire build eventually comes to so the passives are going to be the same as most of the other life based righteous fire builds and not the energy shield based ones uh... so i started out with the marauder some start out with the templar and uh... i know the energy shield one is best with the witch or scion and uh... Well, since I went with Marauder, I immediately go down the life path here, and I go up here and grab the regen nodes, and down here grab the regen nodes, and by level 65, you're going to have a 10% uh, regeneration just from these. And then with the Vitality Aura, you're going to, if you, if you have this right here, you're going to have a 12 regeneration around around 12 and uh, with the proper gear and stuff you'll be able to at 65 start really you know using righteous fire and really doing well with it and until you get to that level you since you're building tanky already uh, you can use several other fire moves or or any spells that you'd want or even like uh, spectral throw or uh, you know, mauls and leap slam and such. Another super useful skill uh, to level with, and one I will be probably using if I take this Righteous Fire build and uh, the new leagues that are coming in February, would be Flame Blast. They just recently added it, and uh, it really works well with this build due to you going up here and getting fire damage for the life regen early. And you, uh, and you being extremely tanky, uh, you're gonna have a lot of life regeneration. So it doesn't matter if you spend time casting, you know, flame blast uh, into a big circle and, and you know, killing enemies with it, because they're not gonna kill you anyways. More than likely, because with righteous fire off, you're gonna be having, you know, eight to twelve percent regen until you're level sixty-five. Then you're gonna have twelve. So you can seriously deal some damage while not taking any. Uh, so that's uh, a skill that you might want to look at if you're going to be leveling it as well. Uh, now I'm going to go and look at the gems that I use in the sockets so you can see what I use. And, but the good thing about this thing I call a Righteous Pinata and good thing about cast one damage taken is you get to use the spells that you want to use that you like and so forth. So uh, first I'm going to go over the ones that are a must to have and this would be the two auras, Purity of Fire and uh, Vitality, and you're going to need a reduced mana gem for those two. And then you get to add an aura of whichever type you want, and I took Purity of Elements until I can max my resist, and then I'll take something like Determination or, or something like that. Uh, the next one is you're going to need uh, Concentrated Effect, Increased Burning Damage, Righteous Fire, and Increased Area Effect. And you're going to socket those together. And then the next are just Cast One Damage Taken, and uh, whichever you want. The the ones I use is Cast One Damage Taken, uh, Arc, and Shock Nova in my Supreme Truth. They can be switched out. Vice versa, sometimes I switch them out. But uh, 
then you can use detonate dead, uh, cast one damage taken, arctic breath, and firestorm. Then elemental weakness, cast one damage taken, fireball, and then cast one damage taken, rejuvenation totem, ice nova, and molten shell. Uh, and then with the little socket down here, since I don't, I can't be linked. I just have an element of weakness right there now. And like I've said before, I usually use a portal gem. Um, and I'm just going to be trying the element of weakness, see what it turns out to be. Uh, the the theme that I went for is AOE, considering Carcass Jack gives AOE, and I've got a plus to AOE. And uh, so I went with uh, you know moves like Shock Nova, the the one that is separate from that is arc and I added it because I didn't have a lot of uh, electric moves you know well lightning moves that were AOE but uh, I also love arc because it it creates a lot of you know <laughs> a lot of effect is like choo -choo -choo -choo, and it changed to people so it looks really cool and uh, the reason I took detonate dead instead of uh, ethereal knives is because it's really crazy when they, it goes off and you have corpses already around you and it you know creates these big explosions I, I just love that and if you have uh, if you want to do the AOE thing you can also make it where this is a blue green and uh, red and take out arc and put in ethereal knives and uh, it's just any spells that you like uh, my theme was just more AOE but any really works you, you know, Righteous Fire is going to be a uh, huge damage, and uh, all your spells going off with Castwind damage taken is going to be uh, massive damage as well. It's uh, it's it's going to be a fun uh, fun build. Uh, basically, it's not going to be really strict. Just take the spells that you prefer. And the same goes for Totem. I only took Rejuvenation Totem uh, because on a boss, if he hits you, Rejuvenation Totem can drop and heal you uh, while. Uh, Devouring Totem, which looks crazy, and I use Devouring Totem sometimes because it does that crazy cool hands out of the ground grabbing. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, you can't have infinite corpses when facing a boss. Of course, the bosses usually die quick, so Rejuvenation Totem isn't much, but it's pretty cool uh, when it regens itself, and sometimes it works as a little uh, tank. I notice sometimes that the the enemies are attacking the rejuvenation totem instead of me when it pops up, so that's pretty funny. Uh, and you can use a, t a totem that taunts them. Uh, you can use a shockwave totem, uh, uh, well, decoy totem is the one that taunts them. A uh, shockwave totem and anything like that, uh, even flame totem. So I, uh, you know, that's my take on the build. Uh, please do your own and see what you like. The build isn't very expensive. The build I use and the build that Will, Will, Will Mosium uses is uh, inexpensive. Mine's a little bit different than Will's, and uh, I'll explain that. Uh, Carcass Jacked has uh, always caught anybody that does any kind of AoE's eye, but Willem uh, uses Carcass Jack and his over the, uh, the obvious Calms because Calm costs 25 Exalted, well 20 to 30 Exalted, and Carcass Jack costs less than 1. So you're going to have cheap on that, and you really don't have to have a Carcass Jack. It just enhances your AoE and your increased area damage and gives you life. You can use just a chest with life on it, and preferably life regen. And uh, the, of course the most important item, and the only item that you really need for the build to go over, is the Rise of the Phoenix Mosaic Kite Shield. Now these can sell, I, I got mine for around 20 to 25 chaos. I've seen some of them sell on domination for, you know, real cheap on the forums. I saw some that, the uh, three that sold for seven each, seven chaos each. And I saw some that sold for 15 and so forth. So you can get this pretty cheap. And Carcass Jack you can get for around the same 20 chaos. And uh, the gems that you're going to definitely need for your Righteous Fire will be uh, a reduced mana a vitality and a purity of fire now I, I just use purity of elements as an extra resist until I get the gear all settled and get the, the right of gear for resist so I can replace that with whatever aura I want at the time like grace or uh, uh, even if you want haste for extra speed uh, I use the supreme truth uh, I know a lot don't use it but uh, I used it because it gives 40% increased elemental damage, which is 40% increased damage with Righteous Fire. I know people use the snapshot trick with a uh, 
the uh, fire staff. I, I've, the name eludes me right now, but uh, it, that staff usually costs a lot. While the supreme truth here, Crystal Scepter, costs one chaos. Literally, you can get it for an alchemy uh, orb sometimes. So it's very, very cheap, and it's a, a big advantage because you're going to need a. Uh, if you're at level 65, you're to get that 88% or 89% fire uh, resist off of your purity of fire. You can put this into the supreme truth, and uh, you get that plus one level, and, and it can level it. Or you can use a wand here that gives plus two to fire skills. And you can use an empower in the supreme truth if you, you can buy a level one uh, empower for pretty cheap. And I bought this uh, level two empower for around five to ten chaos, which is pretty cheap. You can get that, and it adds if you put this in with Supreme Truth and uh, your uh, Purity of Fire, or it's going to give plus three to Purity of Fire. So you can reach that Purity of Fire, you know, extra resist. Then, other than that, the gear is just life. Uh, you're going to, you're, you know, uh, not including Flask. The gear that I use is just as much life as I can get on them that has okay mods and uh, if they have increased fire damage like this 74 max life and 8 increased fire damage that's just nice that's just an added bonus uh, I do say keep your eye out for coral rings because they get the 30 max life and then you can add on top of that so you can get over 100 life per coral ring I'm setting it right now as 5106 life and uh, I'm extremely tanky now the where my build spreads out from the others is a lot of times uh, even Will's uh, build and Oro's build has some cast in it. Uh, mine is all cast when damage taken. Every free uh, the the these gloves uh, the, I use four slots for the righteous fire, and I use four slots for my auras, my three auras and a reduced mana gem. And then the rest of the slots that I have goes with cast when damage taken and spells from detonate dead to elemental weakness and so forth. Now, uh, you can, uh, like I have this one extra, and sometimes I keep it with elemental weakness for when I'm placing Dom or something. I haven't tested it with him yet. I just started using it because someone suggested it to put an elemental weakness in this. I usually keep a portal gem in it. So I really just don't cast anything. I just run around, get damaged, all my spells go off and uh, I create a big light show and I kill things with righteous fire. It's really lazy and it's really fun to do uh, not do much when you're doing that. The uh, awesome to the cast when damage if you're using all this many slots and even more so if you have a six slot that's linked is uh, I have ten spells here and, uh, that go off when when my cast when damage taken stuff goes off and I each one is different I wanted each one to be different because uh, a fireball can't go off in the same vein if you have two fireballs here they don't go off at the same time so uh, I went with you know fireball elemental weakness uh, rejuvenation totem uh, I didn't go with devour totem because when you run out of corpses it doesn't do anything so uh, ice nova molten shell because it procs molten shell and then when they hit you again molten shell procs uh, then I went with uh, Arc, Shock Nova, Detonate Dead, Arctic Breath, and Firestorm. Uh, and then I just walk around and do that. If you've watched my Catacombs video, you've seen what exactly it does. I'm going to post the passive skill list all the way to 65 underneath in the info section on the video, and then I'm going to take and post a further build. Uh, well, uh, you know, as you go further. But <clears throat> you only really need to get to 65 to start using this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to take a drink. As for the flask that I use, uh, I have them set up in an odd, an odd order. But that's that's for uh, uh, you know my own preference, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let me go to the marketplace. Catacombs is one of my favorite place levels, so I usually go out here to you. Uh, test anything, but it's a fun build, you know. Uh, hopefully, this, you know, gets more people using righteous fire and gives more people fun, you know.
Taking a while to load. Okay. And uh, the reason I set these up like this is so I can press 1, 2, 3. And then I get a speed boost. I get the iron skin boost. I get life. And uh, I proc my regen because it you know, takes my fire resist maximum 10%. So I start regening life even more. So I can just press that when I go, like when I'm going into a big mob of stuff, usually around shrines or, or any kind of hairy situation with a new, unique or rare monster or a bunch of magics. I'll just uh, pop all three of those and run right in. And it gives me that uh, big boost. And if I'm doing normal uh, stuff, you know, like, uh, light stuff, I can just pop these two. And uh, that's the way I set mine up. Now, I do use utility on this one right here or this one right here. You can switch these out depending on what you're doing. Uh, I like a topaz flask on Domin uh, Dominus and, uh, yeah, you know, so forth with any kind of enemy that you're facing. If you're facing a Brutus uh, clone or anything like that, like uh, the unique Brutuses, you might want to stack, you know, some armor potions and in there, maybe two depending on how long the fight takes. It won't take long with this build, trust me. It burns quick. I, uh, I've done the level 66 map twin twin boss uh, dungeon where two Brutuses come at you, the two Brutus guys, and uh, you just destroyed them. Uh, <clears throat> the build is, uh, you know, if you watch any of the videos where I do runs with it, it's extremely, aw uh, you know, it's extremely easy to run and uh, it's a lazy person's build and the items that I picked out actually look really cool without buying any cosmetic stuff from the shop you know a uh, person actually commented and said oh I uh, I would love to have that beta skin that you've got there and I was like what beta skin and he's like your mace and I said it's actually not mine uh, no no skin that's the supreme truth that uh, always does that uh, so it's <laughs> It, it looks pretty cool. The flaming shield, this you know, the carcass jack, and uh, whichever helm you choose. I like this helm's graphic. I actually went with this uh, over the other armor-based helmet, and I've now been trying to get one of the uh, the Ursine skin helms, the bear helms, uh, socketed properly. But it's hard because it's a Dex helm. So. <laughs> You're going to look pretty cool with this build. You're going to have fun with it and uh it's it, it, you know, it's it's competent in late game. I haven't I haven't ran across any of the little 66 maps that give me any trouble at all. I literally just walk through the whole thing and uh I'll be testing out on the level 67 and 68. I killed Dominus myself and Scepter of God is a cinch. I walk through Scepter of God and uh the same goes for Piety. Piety's, you know, extremely easy. I tank her ice form, her fire form, and I just set on her, and she burns. <laughs> they burn for their sins, not a cockroach. They burn. So, I hope you really, you know, I, I hope this opens it up to more people that the build isn't very expensive. The only thing that you need to worry about getting is Rise of the Phoenix, and, uh, and if you want to get a little further, you can get Carcass Jack and Supreme Truth. Considering Supreme Truth is one chaos or less, you're going to get it quick. And uh, this Rise of the Phoenix has become popular not only for a graphical item, but for Righteous Fire builds and such. So keep your eye out for a cheap Carcass Jack and a uh, a cheap Rise of the Phoenix, and you'll you'll have it done, especially if you just get the Rise of the Phoenix. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, so I uh, I hope you found this informative, and uh, I'll be keeping up on this. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do the passes below, and uh, oh well. Before I go, I really want to thank Oro and Will Will Mosium for doing a great job with making you know righteous fire builds far before me, and uh, others that did uh, the the energy shield builds and so forth as well. You know the Thanks for giving me uh, ideas and stuff, even though, you know, I didn't know about Oro's build. Maybe Will, Mo uh, and I'm pretty sure Will Mosium talks about it, so it gave Will Mosium uh, ideas, which gave me ideas, which, you know, uh, you know, it's awesome. Thanks to all the people who did that. And uh, as, uh, you know, as always, uh, take care, be safe, and be cool to each other.